All right, so I'm in a bad position financially. My card, my check card or credit card or debit card is going to get cut off at the end of this month. Um, I got a couple thousand on it, and I'm going to need to figure out something to do in the next few days. All right, my PIN number is wrong. I don't know my PIN number. So I just, I can't go to an ATM and pull all the money out. Uh, I, I, I've I tried credit unions in the past, just walk in and, and try to do the, the co-op, the, the, the shared branching, but they say you have to do all that through an ATM. I might, I don't know, there's one, there's one nearby that might be a credit union. It's hard to tell sometimes. But if it doesn't work, then I, I need, I, I only have a few days to figure out how to, how to get that money out to the bank as best I can. Because they're not giving, they're not going to extend this card and we haven't, I, I keep insisting, send it to a, uh, a general delivery in, in Spokane but uh, they, they keep insisting I need, like, need an address or something like that. And I'm not familiar with any homeless shelters in Spokane yet. They're saying that they sent it to an old address. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which one that is. I, 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 it might be something in Boise. I'm not sure. But I can't rely on that. I'm not, I'm not running to Boise just to see, just to check if anything is sent there. Um, maybe I could try to call Boise or something. They said they sent it to an old address. It might be something in Boise. That's something to look into, but I, I suspect by now it's probably been sent back. I really haven't played with that coordination, actually. I've, I've been kind of lazy. But, um, if I, say I skip that idea which uh, maybe I'll, I'll try to look into that tomorrow anyway but let's say if that uh, was not an option then maybe gift cards maybe I need to just get a whole bunch of different gift cards I was, I was thinking maybe I should get try to pull a get a Walmart one for $500 get a $500 Walmart gift card I gotta think about if I need car repair though that's the thing how do I pay for car repair with a gift card and and the uh, the various gas stations what's what's the most common gas station that would make the most sense to get a gift card for um it may be Safeway too maybe a grocery store i'll be able to rely on food stamps that that helps a little bit uh to offset things but what what should i be getting gift cards for um in the next couple of days here like tomorrow, just just so I have some money on hand when my card dies, when my RCU Chuck card dies. Because these, these people, I mean, I can't believe, I thought they would extend me at least. They extended my last card, but they refused to this time. So now, now with that message, things are a lot more dire. Um... I mean, I'd be interested in setting up a new, a completely new bank and just transferring things over a new credit union. But the last time I tried was a few years ago, and the Patriot Act blocks that because you need a real address. You need to prove that you're living somewhere, which I can't do. Yeah, maybe that card was sent. Maybe that card was sent to Aberdeen and not Boise. I forget where the old address was that I set up. I'd like to try to set up a new address. Uh, even if it was sent to an old address, what am I going to do? Am I going to coordinate? I know those guys in Boise are, are pretty nice with, uh, well, they sounded like they would send me mail, that forward mail to a new address or something like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's volunteers and there's different people that go through. So... I'm thinking for the for the immediate solution, gift cards, but I could run into a snag where I I need to like do business with some business that doesn't 
doesn't accept the gift card, and then that's going to be a difficult situation.